Welcome to Ancon Network, where you get updates of things happening around you and things you would like to know. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are yet to subscribe. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the red button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. This time around, we have wonderful news for you that you'll be glad that you are aware of. Stay tuned. A Nigerian man, Power Osiwego has taken Nigeria government to the cleaners, saying rather than punish people who disgrace the country, the leaders of the nation reward them for dragging the name of the country on the mud. Osiwego, who posted on Facebook, went live it with the manner Senator Ovi Omoagege emerged Senate Deputy President without the National Assembly leaders. The presidency and the APC leaders, considering how he alleged organized talks and stole mace from the chambers of the National Assembly. Below is the post he made on Facebook. Shame of a nation, a national thug and a maze runner has emerged the deputy senate president of Nigeria. What a disgrace, what a shame, what a country. We were taught that crimes do not pay, that thuggery is a mark of irresponsibility, that leaders poses characters worthy of emulation. Ovi Omagege, who committed the worst crime in history against our country, should not be walking freely on the streets. He should be in jail, not in the senate, not to preside over our national assembly they aim to make us hate our country and cause the day we were born as nigerians they aim to build hopelessness in us they aim to destroy our country but they have failed posterity will never be fair on them nigeria does not belong to them alone nigeria is bigger than all of us we won't be discouraged we won't faint and we won't lose hope we shall take back our country and place it where it rightly belongs however it's very unfortunate that some Unscrupulous and cursed youth are celebrating this crime against humanity, against our progress and development. It is really, really unfortunate that, you know, this kind of a, a thing will be head of someone who is going to be holding a position, a high position at that in the country. Going by the circumstances that surrounded the whole thing about a, this a miss, the drama that happened in the National Assembly some months ago or some years back. And up to now, nothing has been done. Nobody has been found guilty. Some people will come out and tell you, no, how did you know that uh, he was the one? It's just because some people just, you know, followed him at the back and they just took the maze. That doesn't mean he committed a crime. Fine, if he didn't commit that crime, then why is it that government has not really brought the people that committed that crime to book? Why is it that everything was swept under the carpet? Ali, we should be able to hold some people responsible or a particular person responsible. In as much nobody has been jailed or convicted, it then turns towards that it's this man. Automatically, everybody believes that it is Omar Gege. If it is not Omar Gege, then who, who did? And one thing I would like uh, Nigerians to know is that the power to vote people in the Senate resides among the senators. It's not within the space of the masses and that is why they could choose anybody they want and meanwhile we had a lot of things that you know went underground you know in choosing who to be who not to be you know trying to who people to themselves i was telling somebody that you know they were just celebrating themselves you could see the whole celebration you could see the excitement among themselves they are just you know just like someone playing in ludo they just um, pick themselves and put themselves in various places Yesterday was a big thing for them. All the politicians, mostly the senators, those that are related to them in one way or the other, politically. It was a big celebration for them yesterday. But I, I was just like, you know, the kind of thing that happened yesterday, how is it going to be of benefit to the masses? Because they are just there to do their business. They are just there, you know, to show off that they have arrived. That is just all they are doing. And that is just how it's going to be. It is a matter of who takes who takes what, who puts you there, who nominated you, who are the people supporting you, who are the people that you are going to pay back, you are going to pay homage to at the end of the day. That is just what is happening. It was really a big celebration. It's not a celebration on the part of the of the masses of Nigerians. It's just for them alone. 
your your mind will break when you begin to find out what goes in and what they are going to be receiving as senators. We already we already know all of this, and that is why it will continue. It's very unfortunate that a country like Nigeria that is underdeveloped or is still a developing country, their political officers, they are the ones who receive money more than even the so-called developed countries. The so-called developed countries, what their officials, their public officers are receiving, what their policy, what their politicians are receiving, can be compared to what a country called Nigeria that is just still developing, that is still behind. That has not come to the limelight of civilization. It's baffling. And these guys they celebrate themselves. And someone was and someone was like, you know, they are the one that fix their salary, they are the one that fix their allowances, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. And most of the time you see that they go in there, some of some of them will have a good intention, but it's because Nigerian foundation is faulty. Nigerian system of government, the foundation is faulty, irrespective of how good you have or how good your intentions are once you get there by default because if you have like a 10 people nine people are on one side and only one person is standing out believe you me in no time that one person will be frustrated because maybe that one person is the one that will be saying let us do this thing right let us do it this way and the nine people are saying something different over the time if you can't beat them you join them and if you can't join them the best thing is for you to go out. And most of the time, the people or the one person tends to join the people. But immediately he joins them, they begin to sing another song. You begin to see some kind of character. You begin to see some kind of body language that tends towards that this person has really changed. This person is not speaking for the masses. This person is not speaking the way he used to speak before joining the house. The foundation of Nigerian government is faulty very very faulty that is why you are surprised that the people that you think that will be able to do the right thing once they just get there their mouths are sealed so if omar gege was not responsible for the mess theft then who did and that is why we say that the government is not sincere because the law they make is just for the commoners it's just for the masses like a, 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 they used to say that if you do anyhow you see anyhow if the masses, if they do anyhow, they see anyhow. Those ones that have arrogated themselves as big people, once they do anyhow, you will see them. They will, they will. You see that they will still give them preferential treatment. They will give them, you know, kind of a a soft landing in whatever crime they have committed. Just like what Osewego was saying, that they just want to frustrate us. They want us to lose. They want us to lose hope. That the more we lose hope, the more we will we'll be so weakened that we will not be able to do anything. And by so doing, they will be thriving. But they are just thriving in abnormality. They are just thriving in irregularities. They are just thriving on on just. And they are so happy once they check their bank account. You know they can do and undo. They all have class. And you that's how you see some of the people that you you thought that. You know, they were lab labor leaders. Everybody was like, oh, this is our man, this is our man. But immediately they join their, their carcass, they become something else, they become tiger. We all know those people. When they are outside of the government, you see them saying the right thing, doing the right thing. They speak responsibly. They speak with emotion. They speak with passion, you know, for the people. But as soon as they get there, it's something else again. And that is why you see most of them, they lose their integrity because really if what you believe and once you get there and you see that it's different from what you believe, what you are supposed to do irrespective of the party that put you there or that or people that voted for you there, you, are go you, you should resign if you have that integrity. But most of them don't do it. The next thing, they fall in line with them. So Nigerians are not happy with this kind of a thing. You know, not with this kind of omo agege that, you know, that is associated with mass theft. And what has been done before then if the government wants to clear nigerians curiosity they should be able to bring to book the people that committed that crime and we learned that they saw the maze after some days they saw the maze under the bridge in one of the bridges in abuja and up to date everything was swept under the carpet and it is the same person that you are bringing or you are presenting as the deputy uh, speaker of the, of the house 
there's nothing wrong about it but what nigerians want is that let justice prevail let those that are committing crime let them be brought to book and just like uh, uh, the the osiwego said that you know they make they now make us to believe that crimes pay and this nigeria that we are it is you know it is by who you know even no matter how uh, weighty the offense you've committed how weighty it is in as much you know somebody somewhere before you know everything will be swept under the carpet so how do you expect that kind of a country to move forward how do you expect people to feel when people that are qualified are, are being ruled by unqualified people so that's just my own take everybody has his own opinion everybody has his own take on this matter and i would like you guys to put down your comments if really you are one of the people that are comfortable with the emergence of a omo agege i would like you to put your comments down if you are not part or if you are not happy or if you are indifferent whatever your take is i would still like you to put down your comments below thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe and if you press the subscribe button just press the bell icon because if you don't press the bell icon you will not be notified anytime we post news on this channel thank you very much for always listening bye